Here we can look at the uh, effect of time study performance rating on your time study summary. So you can see here we've got two observations of each activity, both sides, both bottom, aside and get next. And my rating is 100%, so there's no rating has really been applied here. If I go to the summary, here's the summary I get here. You can see I've got total time, minimum, maximum, number of observations is two, and the average time is shown here, and all the charts and everything reflect that here. Right. Now if I come back over here, and let's just say we wanted to change the rating on one of the activities, perhaps the second above bottom, we can click in the rating area here, we can change the value, let's say we felt that that operator didn't perform that quite the way that we expected, we can say 85% here, and we can apply that here. And now if I close out of this, you'll see 85 is now reflected in here. So I do have a performance rating effect in here. Now if I go to my summary, you can see I get a different format. I get the total time, I get the level time. Now the level time does reflect the effect of the rating here, right? The minimum, the maximum, and the average time. And the average time, you'll notice, is calculated uh, by a, as a affected against the level time, not the total time. So the average time here is reflecting the performance rating that shows up here. So again, if, if your rating factor is anything other than 100, you will always get the summary uh, that gives you the level time and the re level time will be used in calculating the average over here. If, the, if I put this back to 100 here, right, apply it back here, close out of it, now it's all 100, you'll get the initial one which doesn't include the level time because there's no leveling involved. Okay, so again, just be aware of this, this is how you, the leveling would be reflected in your final um, time study summary.